Uh, my name is Keith Maller. I'm from Albany, New York, right here locally. So uh, September of 19 was when I attended CCTG. Um, and currently right now, I happen to own and operate Maurice's Delicatessen, which is ironically in the same building as CCTG. So um, that's what I do right now, owner operator of a deli. I also own a plowing company. So my story is kind of unique. Um, if you look at the big picture, I started shoveling sidewalks at age seven. Now I'm plowing 20 commercial lots. If you paid attention or where I was at age 15, I was washing dishes. So now I own a restaurant. So that's kind of a little bit about my history. Um, I worked for multiple, multiple big companies in between my career path. But right now, this is where I am. And I, you know, I'm happy to say it's, uh, it's very good. This deli introduced me to CCTG in the grand scheme of things. Um, when I purchased it, I started seeing 20, 15 people once a month that you knew were not regulars. It piqued my curiosity at that point because I like to know my customer base. Uh, introduced itself to Chris Rogaleri, owner and operator, CCTG. We did business together, so I was catering for this company for the students that would come in. And I would talk to them, introduce myself to them. Six years goes by, right? Um, Chris and I became acquaintances more along the lines of him trying to sell me and say, hey, I think you should take my course. So I'm talking to students as they're coming in. I'm trying to get their feedback. And this, this industry was all brand new to me, so I didn't know how to receive it. I didn't know what I was doing. I was a hardworking dude with no education, no MBA, didn't finish college, and I'm being very, how would you say, leery about what the deal was with this. It's commercial lending. And I'm like, okay. Chris comes down. Year after year, you gotta take my class. It's gonna help you. So, lo and behold, the students would come in and I would start talking to them about them. Is it beneficial? Is it helping you? Is it something that you foresee yourself doing? And everyone would say, it's so much information. I got the same answer from everyone. It's, they, they just inundate you with information is the answer I got. So finally, um, Chris and I sat down one day in the afternoon and he's like, listen, enough's enough. And if you know Chris Rogaleri, when the guy tells you enough is enough, you're taking the course, well, I'm taking the course, okay? Okay, buddy, I can squeeze you in. Winter's not here yet. The holidays aren't upon us. I happen to have a little bit of a slower month ahead of me. September was the day. You're starting, okay? So that's a little bit about how I found CCTG. That's a little bit about how I've come to know Chris Rogaleri over the years and then how it's going to change my career path, basically. Within four months of taking Chris's course and learning about the products that they offered, um, I started right away. So while taking the course, I started putting the feelers out about the Mailer Commercial Lending Group. And now there's three deals that are completed since I graduated CCTG. One, merchant processing. Um, it's residual income. It happened right away. It was $4 million worth of credit card sales annually with this one company. Um, I introduced myself. We were able to save some money. And the residual income should be anywhere basis on the range of $800 to $1,000 a month. So I covered some consistent income right away. How I did it, I just reached out to people I knew. I talked to them. I didn't really put the sales hat on. I kind of just led into it and talked to them. And then you have to have a great reputation, hard work ethic. Second one, second deal, um, restaurant merger acquisition. Friend of mine wanted to buy a restaurant. 
went to a couple different local banks, got rejected. I have a conversation with him. He said, do you know I do commercial lending now outside of the realm of banks? Start talking to him about it. Go up and talk to the restaurant owner. Lo and behold, it's probably looking at a 2% protection on behalf of the product that you earn. So if the restaurant's $250,000 closing deal and it's 2%, you all can do the math on what I would be able to make or I'm going to make on that deal alone. Um, third one, friends of mine get a hold of me, needed to lease a piece of equipment. Off you go, they wanted at least $50,000 is what they wanted. Get a hold of one of Chris's products, one of the people I learned and got to know and uh, $2,000 check mail to me. So these are the three deals that I did while I was sitting in class from there going forward. And you got to give yourself a little bit of time because everybody wants to rush, rush, rush and think that these things are going to fall into your lap. But ultimately, they will come to you. So I think that the instant success based upon how hard you want to work and how fast you want to work. And really it boils down to, who do you know? That's my opinion. And that's the deals I've done so far. And I'm very, very, very proud to say that I'm paving my new career path outside of this restaurant. <laughs>and I got on board and I had to remove myself from this company, which was only right upstairs on the 15th floor, which I've never done before in five, six years since I bought Maurice's. I never took a week off. I had no vacation time. It was literally my first week off. That's how much it meant to me. And I think that's how much it meant to Chris, right? So what I learned there in seven, six days, I'll call it, okay, um, was mind boggling because I never foreseen myself being able to tell people that I could give them money. And I learned from Chris that we as students, people are calling you. They need money. It's not the other way around. We're in a business where our phone rings. If you present and learn and listen to what Chris tells you, your phone will ring because we want to give money away. We want to be able to close that deal. So from start to finish, you are hammered with information that is on overload and you better be ready because if you think you're going to sit up there and not pay attention or not, you know, just go out and left field, then you shouldn't be doing it. But if you sit there and listen and pay attention and absorb it, review your notes, listen to what Chris, John and Mac are telling you day in and day out with the people they introduce you to. It's a great eye-opening experience to become your own person and your own boss. From soup to nuts. He will give you the segue, the introduction to make the money you need to make to live. Your overall experience was phenomenal. You're gonna meet Chris Rogalari, who's, who's infamous in his industry. You're gonna to listen to John, Cosentino, who is phenomenally knowledgeable of what he has to say and the products they have to offer. And Mac is another great guy. Talk about people that you can lean on. Um, you have to be your own boss. You have to be able to put yourself in good situations. But one thing I can tell you is that the class and the experience and meeting Chris and John and Mac and doing what they tell you to do for six days or seven days, if you fail at this business venture, it's your own fault. Bottom line, your own fault. Because if you can't go and listen to what they're gonna tell you to do in seven days and say, okay, I gotta do this, I gotta do that. They're giving me a website, I gotta attend this seminar. Boom, bing, three things. You better go do it. Or if you can stand at a register in a small little city and your business is right in front of me, ask them what they do. What do you do for a living? Then the next time say, hmm, Maybe I could help you with something. We should talk. We should sit down and have a conversation. These are things that they teach you how to do. Persistence wears down resistance. And that class right there just married everything that I had. Your first deal, you're nervous. 
right? You don't want to make sure that you don't piss any of Chris's lenders off because that's some of them said, you know, better have this ready, have that ready, have your facts, right? So the support that I have received was Mac, a quick phone call. Great. Keith, try this direction, go that direction. Then John, I had another deal that was lined up down here and <clears throat> John came right in and we sat down with the potential customer right away. So it was like, he was like, I'm there. I'm coming down to Albany anyways, let's have a meeting. That's the kind of support you had. Third deal, I get a last minute phone call for the $50,000 piece of equipment lending. I didn't have my stuff on me. I was standing at the register and I got, you know who at my fingertips because I'm on the lower floor. I run upstairs, walk through the door. Where's Chris? I gotta talk to him, right? Bring him out here. <laughs> he comes out, what are you doing? <laughs> so um, that's the kind of support. He dropped what he was doing and his staff was right there. I needed a lender quick guide. I needed who to call real quick because when somebody calls you with a deal and you can sense it in their voice, you better have answers and you better get the deal done or else they're gonna go somewhere else. And that's the kind of support that I got from CCTG. They all were like, and I'm fortunate because I'm right downstairs. So um, I can imagine that <clears throat> when you call them, they're Johnny on the spot. I feed half of them. They come in here every day and they're more than willing to help. And that's the kind of company you're gonna do business with. That's who you wanna do business with. My thought on being very nervous about the whole thing is to spending the money to pay for the course and you're thinking to yourself, my God, can I do this, right? And, and you will learn that after being in that chair upstairs for three days and spending that money, you better do it because looking back was no option for me. Just finding deals going forward was the only thing that I had in mind. And if it's your first time being self-employed and you've always worked for somebody, it's the best business to get into and you can take it from me because I have employees, I have payroll, I have overhead, I have expenses. When you're a CCTG graduate, you have one thing to worry about and that's you. You don't have employees, you have your phone, you have your internet, and you have you to be successful. If you wanna grow your business from there and you want 20 employees and you wanna go that route of being a big commercial lender, you can do it. But to start your company with the small initial investment Chris has to offer, you recoup it in six months if you work hard. Th three, less if you work hard. That's my, that's my overall experience. And I have to tell each and every classmate that when you come to Maurice's Deli and I'm standing at the register and you tell me you graduated, you're getting 10% off down here. That's how committed I am. Marketing and advertising. I'm going to touch on this real quick. And this is kind of crazy. I went into that class. I didn't even know what business name I had. I knew I had Maurice's Deli and I had a plowing company. I don't even know what to call it. I didn't have an LLC set up, right? So I'm in the class and I'm working on deals and I'm listening to these guys. I got no marketing, no website. I am so busy, right? I'm trying to pay attention to what's going on downstairs while I'm upstairs. And here I am, three, four months later, I still don't have a website. <laughs> I just got my LLC name about a month and a half ago and paid for my federal ID number. Um, I've done no marketing whatsoever. And not to the, not to the fact that it's not because of CCTG. This is because of me. I'm so busy, but I still managed to cut three deals. So don't think you need, I got to have a website. I got to have this. You'll get it. You will get it. But you can succeed without it. And that's just another lesson about marketing. This company, Chris is gonna get you a website and he's gonna get you all the help you need, but you can do it without it. Just know that.